This is the end product using animation curves. It is pretty rudimentary, but it works well as a base for more advanced stuff like Kingdom's Rush Bomber Trajectory. The curve I use looks like this. It is pretty easy to set it up if you press right click on the vertices. It's really important to start with 0 and end with 0 as values. The curve values will add up on the y axis and you'll see how in a bit. Taking a look at the code, you can see it's really similar to the code from the other video I made. Uh, we get a start and finish position as parameters, then we're initiating a float to store how much time has passed. The while loop checks if we have reached the set duration from the inspector, and if I divide time passed by the duration, it will always be a number from 0 to 1. Height time gets the values from the animation curve, using linear time as a parameter. The next variable, height, is linearly interpolated between 0 and the set max height, that's also set from the inspector. Finally, we move the object from start to the finish position using linear time. This alone would behave like linearly moving the object from A to to be, but we also add another 2D vector on the Y axis, which adds that parabolic effect. If you didn't notice already, the method I'm using is a coroutine, which is like a normal method but you can stop the execution at runtime using yield return, followed by wait for seconds, or in my case, null, which means waiting for one frame. The scene I have used and the assets will be available in the description, as well as other relevant documentation. I have used the project I'm currently working as a playground for this tutorial, so if you can play it and provide some feedback, that would be great. And uh, if you have any questions, just post them in the comments or something. Peace.